so now that uh, we know that how we can use nmap to uh, scan the uh, scan the networks and how we can uh, scan the targets or we can actually scan a whole network range with the nmap uh, and i told you uh, and i walked you actually through the uh, through the help section of the of the nmap and i told you how we can actually uh, uh, enable os detection how you can find that what operating system our targets are running I told you about the service versions and how to store the output uh, and and also specify some different flags and different types of of scan uh, so this time we are going to actually look into a tool which is called ZenMap so ZenMap is actually a graphical user and user interface for nmap it is the same tool uh, it is just it is a little easier for uh, to use because it provides us an easy interface we, where we can actually uh, uh, select the default scans and set the specific options we want and the each and every six sections are divided here but ZenMap actually uses nmap in the background for scanning so as you can see the name it is saying uh, ZenMap and it is saying nmap in it so it is the same uh, same tool but it is uh, it is a it is a graphical user interface so let's get into N uh, ZenMap and see what we get it from here. So we, you just have to write ZenMap in the terminal and you press enter or you can uh, go to the all application section and you will find the ZenMap there too. So <clears throat> here is the interface for ZenMap and you can see that uh, this uh, section here is asking us to uh, put a target here. So for example, my target is 192.168.0.102 uh, you can also specify a whole network range here uh, if you want to for example you want to do a whole network scan you can just write dot one slash 24 and it is going to scan all the 255 ip addresses for us so right now i just uh, want to do uh, a single ip address scan so i'm going to uh, uh, specify the target which is this IP address and here are the profiles so as I as I told you that in ZenMap we have some default uh, scans already made for us so uh, here is the list of some default scans which are available in ZenMap so there is an intense scan there is an intense scan plus UDP there is a ping scan there is a quick scan and and some other type of scan so uh, one uh, one thing I, I want to show you is so for example I uh, select a ping scan here and you can see that the command here has changed similarly if we select uh, a quick a regular scan here so we can see that the command here has changed so as I told you that Zen map is a tool which is using nmap in the background so for example I select a ping scan I just copy this uh, this command from here I go to the terminal I split the screen I paste it here and I press enter so here is the here is the result so you can see that uh, this is the same command we were using with nmap uh, it is just showing us uh, in, a, in a user interface for us in ZenMap. Uh, and we can do the same thing so if you want to specify uh, a specific option and if you want to add more flags or options to it you can do it uh, in the command section so for now I am going to just run a regular scan uh, for this target IP and this is the uh, this is the command here it is just nmap and then the IP address I want to scan so this is very easy so these are some uh, sections like it is telling us the ports and topology and host details and we are going to look into into all of them after we actually uh, complete our scan so i will just click the scan button and you can see that the nmap has started scanning so for zenmap it is nmap which is actually doing the scanning so uh, uh, this is a kind of a terminal we see in the terminal and this is uh, the same results we will get for nmap but but in zenmap we are going to see it more clear and uh, divided in sections so it is telling me that nmap done it took it 12.43 seconds to uh, to actually complete the scan 
and these are the ports and these are the uh, there these are the state as uh, the states of the of the ports and these are the services so here here in this section you can click the ports and you can see that we have only the port section available here and it is it is actually dividing the things very clearly for us so for example it is telling us that there is a port 135 the protocol is tcp the state is open and this is the service for example we have specified a dash s v flag which was a flag for for the uh, for the enumeration of variants where we actually try to find uh, the service versions so it would have shown the version of uh, of this port uh, of this uh, service actually here so we did not do that uh, at the moment because i wanted to keep it simple because i have already explained uh, all uh, all the all the attacks or all the type of scans we can do here is the topology and some host details and it is telling us that three ports are open as we saw here that only the three ports were open uh, these are some scans like it is telling us that status is unsaved and these was this was the command we actually ran uh, so it is very simple to run here is the services uh, it is the services which were running on on the port so we can actually uh, click on them and uh, find some more details on them so this was uh, a very very simple scan this was a very regular scan we did and uh, I actually did not go into details because I have already explained all the scans in the last video if you haven't seen it so I want you to look into it again and I also want you to play with nmap or zenmap you want to so it totally depends on you which tool you actually want to use but I want you to actually practice uh, on nmap because it's on terminal and in the future you are going to uh, see a lot of tools which are only terminal based which don't have a graphical user interface uh, and then it will be more easy for you if you get yourself familiarized with with the with the terminal because terminal is very powerful and we have already seen a lot of things uh, which we can uh, just uh, uh, we can just do by using simple commands on the terminal so uh, i just wanted to show you zenmap uh, because uh, some people don't like the terminal so they can use ZenMap for scanning and it is a great tool too. So see you guys in the next video.